G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, don't you just love it when the flatties struggle so hard with the simplest things? Well, Branty, I mean Brandon, I mean Ranty, well, that crew. Well, they showed the APOD Astronomy Photo of the Day video, which was a time-lapse made from images taken from the ISS. Now, I found those images, and the links to the first and the last one are in the description as always. Now, I made a 4K video from those, and I'll put that up as a separate resource for all those who want to use this, because I think this is important enough to be out there all by itself. Now, Astronomy Photo of the Day did crop and trim to show just the good stuff, and I'll do just that too. So, let's have a listen to what Brandon and his crew failed at, I mean, said. This is Brandon's intro. Okay, uh, on my screen, I have a video that uh, we came across last Friday night. And I'm sure we've seen this before, but I thought I would show this to you because when I watch it, it just kind of, uh, well, I'll play it and I'll, 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 I'll let it go from there. It's from NASA. It is, let me read the description before I play it. Explanation. Have you ever seen a rocket launch from space? A close inspection of the featured time-lapse video will reveal a rocket rising to Earth orbit as seen from the International Space Station. The Russian Soyuz FG rocket was launched 10 days ago from Bekinor Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan carrying a Prog blah 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 module to bring needed supplies to the ISS. All views expressed on this show are purely entertainment. Wow. Okay, well, then there was this gem. Yeah, if you haven't figured it out, that little thing up there is the rocket, the Soyuz, I guess. Was it going straight up? Wasn't it supposed to yeah, go to going... take a curve, like, to leave the, you know, the yeah. or whatever? You're right, Jose. Yeah, from the ground, they curve. That one's going straight up. Well, of course, the rocket appears to be going straight. It's arcing towards the ISS because it's following in the same path. The ISS just flew straight over Baikonur. And now the rocket is chasing it, so of course it's going to appear to be straight. But it's actually curving towards the ISS. How do you guys not understand this? I mean, it, it is trickier than optics, I guess, and you don't understand that. So, look, it's simple enough. It's not rocket science. Well, actually, I guess it is. Okay, fair enough. All views expressed on this show are purely entertainment. Can we... See those stars, if you go back to wherever it was, or the whatever at the end, you'll see there's a whole bunch of stars. Like, can we pick a constellation out and be like, all right, this yeah, constellation Yeah, can we match any of them? Over. Yeah, what's going on? Like, that just looks like random stars. I See, hold on, look at that configuration. Have you ever seen stars in that configuration? Well, of course we can find out what stars they are. It's so easy. All you need to do is what I did, get the original high-res image. This was 101310. Then I rotated it. Then I cropped off the Earth so that it wouldn't confuse the system. So now I only got the stars showing. And then I did a plate solve on it. So I uploaded this to an astronomy site like NovaAstronomer.net. Now this site compares all known star formations with what we're seeing in the photo, and it finds the stars that are being shown. It's all too easy. A computer can do it in no time at all. It takes about five minutes. Now guys, from that we can see that the stars you were looking at that you didn't recognize was the Aquarius constellation. Well, how about that? So you've never seen Aquarius before. Poor guys. Looks like Blue Marble Science was right after all. Okay, on to the next veil. Well, no, no. I know, I, I know, I, I know that NASA is the source, but that can just simply mean that they have created a simulation. I'm trying to say that if there is a traceable... Uh, data trail that goes back to the source being the ISS. That's all I'm saying. Oh, right, right. Didn't? Oh, trace back the source. Well, that was easy. Here's where you go. And I went there myself and I found all of these images. I looked up by the date. Each image has all the metadata. It shows the time, the date, the lat, the long, the focal length, the lens, the serial number of the camera even. It's all there, guys. No more excuses. On to the next veil. All views expressed on this show are purely entertainment. Yeah, because see, it, this looks like land up here. I, well, what are we? What are we talking about? Come on. It looks thicker near the top. <laughs> where it, there. Where's Dinner. the horizon on the CGI? CGI. 
Oh, this is a pretty bad one. Does anybody think this is is real on the panel? This WS does. Oh, is he on the panel? There's a shitload of ether bits. Right there. there's, a yeah. there's a star right, there right down there. Is Not this the like atmosphere? This. Is this the atmosphere? Well, yes, it is. Well, that was easy. Now, have a look at some other examples of things moving through that little atmospheric zone, say the moon. And here it is, seen setting from the ISS. Yes, and that's a real-time image I captured. Do you see how that blue layer of atmosphere is so distorty? Could that be because it's a variable density? Oh dear, maybe it is. Well, let's have a look what happens when the moon moves through it from the ISS when it's zoomed right in. Here's a beautiful, clear, no atmosphere moon. Now watch what happens as the moon sets. Oh wow, look at the change in shape as it goes through that variable thickness atmosphere layer. Guys, what are you going to say about that? Blue Marble Science, you said it all, mate. Welcome to the globe Earth. So now watch this video right to the end and you can see the Progress vehicle just hanging around there in the space doing its catch up over the next 48 hours or so until it closes the gap and docks with the ISS. The Branty Show is fast becoming the place where we go looking for derp. It is just too easy to find it there. It, it, All it, views it, expressed on this show are purely entertainment. If you like what I've done, click like and subscribe and we might be able to do some more in the future.